Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Today we are making ice cream scoops. As you can see, I have a table full of straight pour candles. That's what makes most of my money. Dessert candles are a hobby for me, but it's what I really enjoy doing and enjoy showing you guys what you can make out of wax. Um, so thank you guys for watching again. Um, this is a 650 Pro Blend that I get from Flaming uh, Candle. Today, you guys will be proud of me. You'll see me whip out my hand mixer today. Um, I'm looking for a little bit more firm of a embed instead of the nice creamy filling that I normally use when I just hand mix it. So today it was called for me to bring out that hand mixer. Y'all know I hate the cleanup, but uh, I needed it today or my hand would have been tired. Just going to mix it. I don't think it takes anything, but maybe... A good minute to mix it this is in double speed I do try to speed these up because I work very slow so <laughs> don't want to waste all of your time today um, for this you'll need a some wax paper and an ice cream scoop the ice cream scoop I did purchase from Amazon probably could have got it at Walmart but I don't like to leave my house too much so Amazon it was I think it costs like five bucks and it's the quick release one. And it's the, the consistency of the wax seems to be more of like a thick mashed potatoes. Mine's did have a few lumps in it. I did take it outside so that it could the wax could solidify. So that causes a few lumps. Um, I could have knocked some of those lumps off with the heat gun. But because this is my first time making it, not trying to make it perfect, just trying to see um, what adjustments I need to make for the next time I do make it. I do feel like they came out pretty good Though I think I'll use a little bit more of a discolored wax because I don't necessarily like really white wax for ice cream for some reason I like the off-white color This did make about 12 scoops. You can see my babies in the background. They're trying to see what I'm doing here and I didn't use very much wax. I didn't measure it. I just kind of scooped it in there. Leftover wax that I was using for something else. And then you're going to see me try to put a few sprinkles on it. The sprinkles did not turn out so well. I probably should have hit it with my heat gun first because they were a little too firm. But again, this is my first time making it. So I was just trying to see what I could do with it. And it was a fail. You guys are also going to hear a brief word from my sponsor. By sponsor, that is me. I don't have any ads, so I'm going to run my own ads in this video until I become monetized. Thought it was a cute idea. Guess you guys will let me know what you think about it. So hang in there with me, just trying some new things with my videos and see what works and what doesn't work. Oh, and here's what one of the scoops looked like, up close and personal. Is your vagina dry? Are your menstrual cramps killing you? Do you bleed to death once a month? This soap isn't going to fix all that. As a practicing nurse, I really suggest you go see your doctor. But still, buy this bar. It's gentle on all your parts. And you'll love it. All right, hope you guys like that quick commercial. Um, now you guys are seeing me. I, for some reason, decided to make a candle. That was not the plan when I first started, but I did have some brownie bites that I made. If you guys want to go see how I made those, um, really, I don't have a video of exactly how I made the brownie bites, but I do have a video on how I mold all of my embeds. Um, so you can guys can go see a previous video. It is really the repeat of everything. I either freeze the product, don't freeze the product, get silicone, water, dish soap, and then I mold it that way. But I have a couple of videos of that already if you guys want to go watch that. Otherwise, I think I use a size um, 6 CD wicks and then I got that um, candle holder or the glass from the Dollar Tree. I don't always share what wicks I use on this because my wicks change depending on how the candle burns. Now, this isn't a candle that I plan on keeping. Just a fun candle. Um, I'm not big on brownies and ice cream. I prefer what I wanted to do is do like some pan cookies and do melted ice cream over it. But we'll see. 
um, if this is one that I keep or not. I guess it depends on how it burns and if I want to mess with it. I just feel like brownies and ice cream might be a weird smell for people. I have no idea if you really want to smell that versus eat it. I have no idea. Anyways, I was whipping um, Pro Blend 600 and that's what I used to pipe my um, wax with. And did I? I don't know if this one turned out thicker or kind of crunchy or what. I can't remember. Yesterday, I swear, was a blur for me, y'all. Um, but this actually, this video will cut off <laughs> because I thought that I recorded the rest of it. The only thing that you're going to end up missing is me pouring the chocolate syrup on top as well as um, the sprinkles. Otherwise, I'm just stuffing a few brownies strategically around the candle. Um wicks and then the biggest thing i always want you to guys to know is that um, you want to make sure that your whipping is around each wick and then sometimes you'll have to go back and put some more um whip around the wicks if you miss it because you don't want your wick to burn all the way through so that's all you see me doing here and again this is my first time making this i just got a wild hair to do it so you guys aren't even going to see the rest of this video and I apologize for that. But you don't miss much. I'm going to show you pictures of the finished candle that I made. Just putting some sprinkles on it and then really all you guys missed was the chocolate syrup. Sorry about that. But yes, here are the ice cream scoops with my very few sprinkles and this is the finished candle that i made i felt like the candle turned out fine again it's just something i don't know that i'll sell it's pretty but i don't know if it's one that i'll sell also guys this is um my new space that i as i want you to see and i hope you enjoyed this video thank you I a lot of people have been wanting to see the full shot but here it is still a lot of work to be done trying to figure out where to store everything still this is my workspace here then let me show y'all the break room real quick just for people who don't work yet look at them <laughs> what is this Naruto no. What is it? It's a different anime. Different anime. <laughs>